Hey, what's up everyone? This is Wicked and today I'm gonna be showing you the latest update for AOSP ROM made by GDC team. I'll post a link in the description with all the files you'll need and take a look at this because you need to take into consideration these steps you'll need to follow in order to make it work properly on your device. So without further ado, let's get into the installing installation part, which is why I'm here in Team Recovery Project. And as you may see, I have a couple bunch of files here. We're only gonna need we only gonna need three of these: the ASP Zip, the Google Apps Team Ready Lollipop Marshmallow and N version 20.0 Zip, and we're also gonna need either the full or the stock Open Gaps ARM 6.0 Zip. And uh, the installation um, part uh, is gonna be like that. First of all, you're gonna install ASP zip. So ASP 6.0, this zip right here. And uh, before that, I need to make sure you have uh, wiped your device completely. So by going uh, into wipe here and then swipe to factory reset, then uh, click install and choose ASP. And right now it's flashing GDC team as you may see, the Android Open Source Project. 6.0 let me sh let me tell you right now a little story because I'm really fucked up right now I forgot to back up my device before I wiped it out and yeah right now I have to install a new ROM on my device and uh, let's hope at the end of the day I'll tell you right down in the comments what ROM I choose in order to make my device back <coughs> working back again so yeah, first thing, don't forget to backup to your SD card. An Android backup is a really good step if you want to switch back and forth between ROMs, or if you don't like the current ROM you're installing, you just can you will be back, you will be able to get back on uh, the, your previous one. So make sure this is a thumbs up for for this fact. Don't forget to backup before your current ROM, your current configuration, before uh, trying a new ROM. It will save your life, believe me. Right now I'm really tired and I'm really you know, upset uh, on the fact that I will be I will be keen on, the, <laughs> on doing uh, another clean installation of another ROM that should be my daily driver and we will see at the end of the video Actually, at the end of the day, I'll post, I, as I said, I'll post right down in the comments what I installed and what uh, is working on my Galaxy S4. So right now, it's installing Android Open Source Project 6.0. By the way, a few words about this ROM. Uh, it is uh, based on Substratum th theme engine, which will give you the ultimate uh, customizability part of... Uh, this beautiful ROM and I will show you after the installation is complete and after all the steps have been done um, this could be the best ROM in terms of uh, customizability purposes um, and also I read some comments on my channel that uh, told me that this ROM is even faster than the CM13 I tried uh, couple of days ago so we you may want to check into that after I do my review to make an opinion even uh, if it's uh, better or not as you may see it's almost installed and I will skip some steps because you know it's really not that great to watch this and hear me blaming anybody or blah 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 all the time so afterwards you install the ASP zip, you just have to install uh, either the full or the stock zip. I will choose the stock one because it includes every single app you'll find on an access device after you configure. So I'll choose stock and it will take some time installing it, be, believe me. So uh, I'll just uh, you know fast forward to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back, so everything is complete as you may see. All the gaps are installed and right now, in order to make it a fully customized device, in order to have your Google Apps themed 
along with the user interface, you'll need to install Google Apps Team Ready with testing out the, testing out the Marshmallow version 20 point zip and right now as you may see it is is your team ready made by team blackout and as you may see it's applying some tweaks on the uh, apps the system apps the system the framework so done enjoy and let's now take a look at the beautiful boot animation we're gonna see so let's take a look and have a moment of silence for this Galaxy S4 which has been suffered more multiple brain surgeries with all these ROMs I've been testing for you guys it's a really great device and as you may see the boot animation is great and also the LED is flashing, is going haywire, it's flashing all the colors, which is really great, if you ask me. GDC team, beautiful. Dev connection. ASP 6.0. So I'm really nervous to see what this ROM is all about and how it uh, moves and behaves. So I'll get back to you guys after I configure it and after... I set up my device with my Google account and so on. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back with the ROM itself and my first impression about this ROM after I configure it and play a little bit with for about 30 minutes is that um, in my opinion it is about at the same performance stage, step, whatever you want to call it as the CM13. Um, I couldn't say that it is faster or that it is smoother, but uh, I reckon that it's actually at the same level as the CM13 is. So um, it's rather your your personal taste whether you want to choose the ASP1 or the CM13 variant. Um, both of them are working perfectly. Both of them I found to be really stable and fast. Of course, I can't talk about stability um, because I can't test it for more than one day. So that's why I wanted to show you this. But the most important thing that caught my eyes and caught my attention really, really hard and tough was the customizability part of this ROM. And by that, I'm giving this from now and not at the end of the video a 10 out of 10 mark. This is the... A ROM that is customizable but um, really internally. I'm not talking about being able to customize these icons here or making the clock uh, be uh, in the center. That's not what I'm talking about. You can't do that. I couldn't find the the option in the settings app in order to make the clock uh, being in the center, position in the center. But the most important thing is that I told you it comes with Substratum application. And Substratum application is some kind of a, a team app, team engine, which will allow you to uh, make custom overlays over specific applications, specific Google applications, which I'm going to be showing you right now. So I got the domination application. You may already know that. I'm a really huge fan of uh, dark and out applications, dark and out uh, user interfaces, uh, actually blacked out. So this is what that's why I got this team. Now let me show you um, what uh, has changed to the user interface. So let's start with the lock screen because I'm good. I want to get to fast through this because it's not uh, worth taking a look at all the changes. So this is how the lock screen looks like, as you may see. There are some minor changes here. Everything is black, every notification um, is black, notification line. Let's get into the um, status bar. This is how it looks like. Take a look how minimalistic it looks and how great it uh, appears to be. 
the, here are some widgets that are automatically customized with the, within the theme and let's uh, uh, open up some apps just to show you how they look like let's open up Gmail for example as you may see it is also blacked out let's open up um, what else calendar for some reason it's not um, um, blacked out uh, YouTube is by the way as you may see it may take some time to load because I opened up uh, I opened them up uh, before what else messages app even Google Chrome is darkened out as you may see looks so damn awesome mate mate everyone here everyone taking a look at my video it looks so dope in my opinion guys even the Play Store is themed as you may see it looks fantastic and uh, again I like blacked out uh, let me show you the settings I like blacked out um, um, user interfaces not before they look so cool but because of the less battery life it um, it eats so the Galaxy S4 benefits of an AMOLED, beautiful AMOLED screen display and that means AMOLED burns less power in uh, on you know blacked out uh, circumstances and this is how the settings application looks like as you may see the borders borders have have been kind of stripped right now you see so yeah this is how it looks like and this is how the settings app uh, looks like you have here the OSP settings OSP is more like the default stock Android look without any customizations instead of the theming purposes you can't uh, really change anything about the system user interface with the GDC toolbox but you have some interesting settings here including the Ledify um, again the Substratum application Super SU S2 X S2 is an application uh, which you can customize the kernel settings by default. They are set awesome. It's running Alucard kernel, and Alucard is well known for um, developing the greatest governor, CPU governor, and so on. And you have here this default sister uh, user interface tuner. You can uh, add uh, one more um, no tile here, the broker style. Instead, you got these by default. Can customize you can't really customize everything status bar again you can hide or show some um, some of the icons as you may see the Wi-Fi icon and uh, you get some uh, battery status styles circle one but I'd uh, like to stick with the icon portrait one demo mode we're not gonna mess with this so yep ASP latest version as you may see I installed some default widgets just to show you how fast and smooth it is it's not such a big difference between the CM13 and uh, the ASP in terms of speed and stability um, if it is after a couple of days in favor of one of each other or each other please make sure you write down in the comment section give me your feedback and again I want to show you a really frequently asked question about the Bluetooth on this ROM and on any other ROM, ROMs. Um, it is working. As you may see, I am now connected to my um, Bluetooth speakers, Edifier, and let's open up Power Amp and let's play some music. As you may see, it plays, and I couldn't. It kind of stutters from time to time, but I don't think it's the audio, but the CPU getting, uh, you know, into sleeping mode or something like that. Which means everything is sounding perfectly. In power amp, everything is working. The only thing I, um, I don't think it's um, really great is this beeping sound, as you may see, as you may hear it. It beeps when setting up the volume, and I don't know how to disable it. If you, if you know, please make sure to you write that me down in the comments and tell. Well, wicked, this is how you disable it. 
I, I heard that you can disable it by, uh, you know, using uh, some one -on tweaks, some actually exposed tweaks, sorry. And, uh, but, um, it's not uh, really, you know, a good thing to install exposed on these type of ROMs, because you may end up getting some errors. Either way, let me show you. It is blazing fast, as you may see, no problems at all. You can browse, switch back and forth between the apps. You have the ASP camera app right here, which looks and uh, moves perfectly. Can't connect to the camera, again, a bug. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think it's a bug right now. This is a bug. Can't connect to the camera. Um, yeah, maybe. I also encountered this bug before and right now I think it got into yeah it's locked out um, it's not that stable afterwards but I encountered this I encountered this bug earlier on uh, CM13 also and it ended up in a uh, random reboot uh, it mm, I know there was some uh, camera problems with uh, these kind of ROMs especially on marshmallow the can't connect to camera bug but uh, yeah so that's one of the bug make sure you tick it um, so that was kind of it guys I hope you like it if you did please make sure it thumbs up and subscribe let me just restart and subscribe right down to my channel by doing that you'll keep me motivating doing these reviews and uh, make sure you subscribe to be more updated with latest um, Samsung Galaxy S4 ROMs, either if they are CM, ASP or uh, TouchWiz based ROMs. So thank you for watching guys, Wicked is out, bye bye.